Professor Warren Jones has seen a lot in his 50 years working in the state's health system, but he says the story of Audrey Oates has floored him. This is one of the most distressing episodes that I've heard about, particularly uh, when it relates to a seven-year-old child. David and Annabelle Oates took their daughter to the emergency department at the Women's and Children's Hospital at 3pm in early March after their GP diagnosed her with appendicitis. It took until 9.30 at night for a doctor to finally tell her she needed an operation, but before she could get into surgery, her appendix burst. She was lying on the bed and she started screaming and writhing in pain, sort of curled up in a ball. She couldn't even, like, see me. She was just, like, her, her jaw was all clenched, her teeth were all clenched as well, and she was just in so much pain. Audrey was operated on at 11.30, eight and a half hours after arriving. Her recovery was slow. She spent nine days in hospital and needed a pelvic drain, a catheter and an intravenous drip. It's not good enough. My heart uh, felt apology to uh, the, the young girl who suffered this, but also her family. The hospital has contacted the family and apologised and says an investigation is ongoing. We have seen recently some quite extraordinary demands upon the emergency department. The opposition says the government needs to take action. Stephen Marshall's got to stand up. He's got to accept responsibility for the decisions that he has made in the health system to cut it and start to do something about the crisis that we're seeing in public health. The government says it's expanding paediatric services at the Lyle McEwen Hospital and the Flinders Medical Centre to help take some of the load. Patrick Martin, ABC News, Adelaide.